What is going on lads and welcome to a team of divers. We're going to be taking a look at some naughty boys who don't play by the rules and try and con the refs. This is going to be kind of, I've got four divers that I've chose myself because two of them, they're just absolutely ridiculously well known for it. Two of them for disgraceful dives. And then we've got six that are nominees for the fall on the floor, which is getting announced, I think, at the same time as the Ballon d'Or or Ballon d'Or or whatever the friggin' hell it's called. But we've got the fall on the floor and it is... Basically, a website that someone has set up. It was popularized by R Soccer, the Reddit subreddit. So, if you want to go over there, I'll drop a link down in the comment section to the Fall on the Floor website, and you can go vote for your favorite dive and see which one wins for 2014. It is most of them are from the World Cup, but all of them are from last year. So, you can go over there and vote. And we're going to take a look at the players that are in that, as well as some divers that I have chosen for myself. As always, lads, if you want to get any coins, be it for Team of the Year that is coming up, the end of Footmost, to buy any players, link down in the description as always, to igsky.com, the cheapest place on the internet that is 100% reliable, and the discount code AJ3 gets you 5% off. But we're going to get into this video, and I can't show you the actual dives that I've based this on, simply because I will get copyright strikes all over my YouTube from showing Sky Sports clips or BBC clips or anything like that. I'm just not allowed to do it. I will pop down in the comment section a link, like I said, to the website and the four dives or the two dives, you'll see what I mean in a minute, that I have chosen. Because up first, we have got Neymar at left back and we have got Gareth Bale at centre back. These are, you can go on YouTube if you guys really want to and type in Neymar dive and absolutely tons of them will come up and absolutely tons of Gareth Bale ones will come up. I didn't really pick one in particular, to link down in the comment section to you guys because they're just so many and they are so well known for it. You guys can go and basically watch a compilation of them if you really do want to. So we're going to move on to Joel Campbell who struck my attention with his World Cup dive which was, it's not even, I don't even know what to call it. Is it a dive? He didn't like jump on, well he kind of jumped on the floor but it was just absolutely bizarre. He walked past, I think it was Bezler when he was playing against the United States, I think that was right. And he like kicked the other guy like behind his own leg and then just fell on the floor and actually ended up getting the guy booked. I've got no idea why he thought it was a good idea, why he even did it, or even how the fuck it worked that the ref believed it. But that's what he did. He had an absolutely incredible World Cup and was in the spotlight so much, but it turns out he's a bit of a bellend as well. Next to him then, we have got Carrasco, one of the funniest dives that you will ever see ever. This is the guy, as I'm sure all you guys know, who grabbed the other person's hand and slapped himself in the face with it and then jumped on the floor. Nothing too much I can tell you else about that. Just go and watch it. It is absolutely hilarious. And we're going to move on to the Ballon de Fall on the Floor nominees. So there is, like I said, six of these guys and they're in no particular order and you guys can go and vote for your favourites. I'm going to talk about them a little bit, but I don't want to spoil it for you guys because when I went on this website and look through them all, there is some absolutely hilarious ones and I don't really want to influence your vote if you want to go and vote for them as well. So up first at left midfield, we are going to have... Adrian, this is, without telling you guys what my favourite one is, I just can't help but laugh when I see this one. There is loads and loads of puns and funny stuff on this Fall on the Floor website about them. And this one's called A Fish Out of Water, where he gets fouled in the championship and starts flapping around on the floor and leaping up in the air and rolling around and all stuff like that. And basically just being an absolute dramatic idiot. So that is Adrian. Next to him, we are going to have Iron Robin. I'm sure you guys know this one. I'm sure you all seen it. It was in the World Cup. Cutting back into the box from the byline near the goal. Someone goes to make a tackle and he just jumps up in the air and flops and just goes absolutely flying like someone. Had, I don't even know, like, what does anyone ever fall like that? But that is what they did. And he actually got the other guy booked and he ends a penalty. And, and Holland ended up winning the game 2 1, which was just absolutely crazy because it was one of the worst dives that you have ever, ever seen. Next to him, we've got a guy called Gonzalez who. It was actually fine for doing this. He ran up behind someone and shoulder barged him like mad in the back. And when the guy turned around and pushed him a little bit in the chest, he fell down holding his face like he'd been shot in the World Cup. Absolutely crazy thing to do. No idea what was going through his head. I assume he's just trying to get the guy sent off, but he ended up getting fined himself, which is pretty justice, basically. Taste of your own medicine. Well done for being an absolute bellend. Here is a fine and it didn't do anything. They ended up drawing the game and he just lost himself a load of money. Next to him, we have got a guy called Fred. Not the Fred that this actually happened to because he isn't in the game, but we just had to use him as an example. Again, happens at the World Cup. There's loads of funny titles on this website. Really go and check it out, lads. Freddy got fingered, this one is called. And he actually had a penalty to put the game at 2-1 to Brazil. He was in front of Lovren and Lovren didn't touch him and he just fell on the floor and got a penalty in the box. Not really more you can say, I can say about it, really. Just go and watch him and see how this guy changed the game and cheated himself to a win. Striker, we have got striker Cristiano Ronaldo. Again, one of the ones where it actually came off. He was running through on goal in the Liga BBVA. Didn't get touched, jumped on the floor in the penalty box, got himself a penalty, probably ended up scoring it himself and got the other guy yellow carded as well. So 
Dodgy from Ronaldo, very, very well known for it. And just again, an absolute ridiculous idiot and very well known for diving as well. And nominated for the fall on the floor. That then just leaves our last player. One of the most famous footballing moments this year was Luis Suarez when he bit Chiellini and then pretended that it was him who'd been hurt. Like Chiellini had elbowed him in the face or something like that, rolling around, holding his teeth because he just fucking bit the other guy on the shoulder. Absolutely mental. You guys can go and watch that back again. You can go and watch all of them and you can go and watch the ones that I've linked down in the comments section as well. But that is where we're going to leave this video, lads. Team of Divers. If you guys know any other divers, feel free to link me a clip to something absolutely ridiculous down in the comment section as well. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Make sure you smash the likes if you have. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below if you are new around here too. And I will see you next time.